Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. Today is Friday. It's 10 o'clock. I just made myself my literal favorite smoothie. It's so, so good. I do frozen banana, frozen berries, peanut butter, chia seeds, vanilla protein, some oat milk, and some ice to make it like super thick. And it's like literally ice cream. If you can see this right now, it's so yummy oh my gosh i'm like in my smoothie era right now i go through phases where i like have a smoothie every single day and then i like stop making them it's just like hitting the spot it's been super hot out it's like 80 degrees it's gonna be 80 degrees today as well so i'm just like in the mood for smoothies i'm just like full-on summer mode i love me a good protein smoothie after a workout i went for a run this morning i also went for a run yesterday and i'm not the best runner and I don't even like to run, like I don't enjoy it whatsoever, but I just like am in this mode to like push myself when I work out. And I found this like trail almost like by my apartment, which is really nice. It's like a little under a mile. And so I just like do a loop, run from my apartment, do the loop and then come back. I don't know, it just like feels really good afterwards. And then I did a little ab workout at the apartment gym, just made my smoothie. I don't really have a plan for this vlog. I figured we could just do like a couple days in my life or a daily vlog, whatever it turns out to be. Just wanted to pick up the camera and vlog. So welcome back to another vlog. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. We hit 7,000 and I'm just like so happy, so grateful for each and every one of you who comment on my videos, even watch my videos. Like even if you don't comment on my videos and you just like watch my vlogs, I love you and I appreciate you so so much so thank you for 7,000 subscribers I'm gonna finish my smoothie probably go take a shower I'm like sweating before I hop in the shower I wanted to show you my newest addition to the apartment I've been wanting an olive tree for the longest time and I don't know if you remember the last one that I had in my old apartment but it was like I don't even know if it was an olive tree actually I mean it looked like this like the leaves were like this but it didn't have any like faux olives on it and also it was very short it was only like this tall but i love this tree so so much i found it at home goods which i have wanted this for the longest time like i said it was in my cart on amazon and actually i'm pretty sure it was cheaper on amazon i think the one on amazon i had in my cart was like 60 bucks and this was 80 i think which I probably should have just got the one on Amazon, but I don't know. I just like saw it, had to get it because it was like right there in front of me. And I think it's so, so cute. I just really wanted it to be tall because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna leave the TV on the TV stand. Like I'm not gonna hang it on the wall. And so I just kind of wanted to like fill up space above the TV since I'm not gonna put anything above it. I don't think, I feel like that would look kind of strange, but I think it's so cute. I will link the one from Amazon down below but I don't know, I just love it. And also the branch is like real. And then like all of these branches are just like kind of glued inside. It just completes the living room, I feel like. It was one of my last things I needed to get for like decor wise. So I will link the Amazon one down below. It's cheaper than this one and it like looks exactly the same. So just wanted to show you my new little olive tree plant. I think it's so cute. The amount of hair that comes out of my head whenever I wash it or like brush it is insane. Like do you guys have that problem if you have thick hair? Like anytime I take a shower or I brush my hair there's like huge wads of hair that just come out. And also I think it has to do with just I don't get my hair cut like regularly. Which reminds me I need to message my hairdresser and schedule an appointment because it's just like crazy. I'm gonna have to have her thin my hair 
or something. Anyways, I got sent this new body oil from one of my new favorite skincare brands, Jane Guy. You guys have heard me talk about them before. I'll show you like my favorite serum by them. And then I also have a face mask by them I really love, but the serum is so good. It's called Elixir Corrective Serum. And it just like evens out my skin tone, which I love. And then yesterday they sent me this new body oil that's coming out. It's called After Sun Hydrate and Soothe. So like when you're in the sun all day, need some body oil. I'm actually gonna try it right now because I wanna put it on my legs. I feel like my legs are so dry. But they actually gave me a code also, which is super fun because I like always post them on my stories. So the code is Caitlin15 to get you 15% off if you want to try their products. They're actually based in New Hampshire, which is really cool. So I'm going to try this and put some on my legs, just like a teeny bit. It smells so good and it's not like super thick because I have a body oil that's from Osea, which I really love. but. It's super hydrating, I love it a lot, but it's like very thick and I usually put that on like when I get out of the bath, like if I take a bath, I love to lather myself in like body oil because my skin gets so dry from the hot water, but this is like the perfect like consistency and it smells so good. I usually don't like lay out in the sun because I'm super pale anyways, so I would just use this like on the daily feels so good. It says you can also put it on your face as well. It says it can also be used on your face to soothe sensitive skin. And there's not like a bunch of oil like left on my hands. It feels so nice. So if you want to try out some like new skincare products, definitely look on their website. And again, you can use my code to get some money off. But I just like love that brand. I think I'm actually going to put on some makeup today because I have some filming to do for some campaigns. So I wanna show you like my current glowy makeup routine. I always like to make sure I have a good amount of skincare on my skin before I do makeup because I swear it just like changes how your makeup looks. So these have been my go-to. It just like evens out my skin tone and they're the tiger grass camo drops. Because I have like a lot of redness in my skin and so I just kind of like to make my complexion even. I'm going to just do a little bit of concealer. This is the Kosas Concealer and I'm in the shade 1.5C just to like cover some blemishes that I have. I have like this one big pimple right there. Just like little redness spots that I want to cover. I just use my finger to blend it out just because it's super easy. Now I'm just going to add some cream bronzer. This is my Merit bronzer, which I've been using for like quite a while now. It's one of my favorites, but I just love bronzy, glowy skin in the summertime, spring. So I love this product. This is the shade that I use, but I just got a text that my Zara order got delivered, which I like never order anything from Zara, but I saw these pants on TikTok. They were like green, like linen cargo-y pants. So I ordered them and like a couple other things, but I did it like literally the day before yesterday. And it says it wasn't gonna be delivered until like Monday, but I just got a text saying it was delivered. So I have to do a Zara try on haul. I also got in a package yesterday from PacSun, I got a couple things. So I'll do like a try on haul. I just take whatever is left on the brush and just drag it down my neck. So we're all matching. There's like no harsh lines because that's not cute. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of powder. I use the e.l.f. HD powder. Just like on my forehead a little bit because I get super oily and greasy throughout the day especially when it's hot out. The sides of my nose get so oily too. I don't know why, but I don't like to fill in my brows as much in the spring and summertime. So I have my Refi brow jelly, like can't even see it anymore. It's like all rubbed off. I need to get a new one of these. It's like super gross and old, but this is like the only brow gel that makes my eyebrows look full because it gets like every 
strand of hair and they don't move at all throughout the day. For my blush, I'm gonna use the Nude Sticks in Sunkissed. This was actually one of the shades that Sophia Richie used for her wedding day. And I saw like a video of like all the makeup she used at her wedding, literally ran to Ulta and got the two shades. I actually showed it in a vlog, but this shade is so pretty. And I just use my finger to blend it out. It's literally like the perfect sunkissed look and it's literally called sunkissed. So makes sense. And I'm just gonna take a little bit more and put it on my nose because it looks so cute. Usually I would put the other color on top, but I've been loving the way that this one looks by itself. So I'm just gonna leave it at that and then take a little bit of highlighter. This is the Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand. I just do the tiniest amount. So I just curled my lashes and then I'm just adding some lash gel. This is like my favorite hack for spring and summer when you like don't want to wear any mascara but you want your lashes to look good curl them a shit ton and then put on some lash gel then i like to add the teeniest bit of lip liner this is rare beauty in the shade wise it's like one of my favorite lip liner shades super natural looking i just kind of outline them a little and then I got in these new lip oils from Merit Beauty. The shade is my favorite, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna use this one. And then I also got this shade called Maraschino. It looks like it would be super like bright and vibrant, but it's not, it's like super subtle, which I love. So I got these recently, but I'm gonna use the shade today. Lip oils are so interesting, I feel like they're like almost like a lip stain. And then I like to go in with this Joa Beauty Luminizing Mist just to kind of set everything in place. It also feels so nice. So there's the current makeup. I like have you guys zoomed in on my camera. I never use the zoom setting, but just like very natural, light, glowy, sun-kissed, all the good things for the glowy makeup look. But I just love the lip oil as well as the blush. I'm like very into this look. Like I look like I was in the sun. I look sunburned. Like I don't know why we love that look, but it's very cute. So there's my makeup. I will link everything down below. So I just grabbed my Zara order as well as my packs and clothes. I just laid them on the couch. I'll do a little try on haul for you. I still can't believe this got here so quickly. I literally ordered it like a day ago or two days ago and it said it wasn't supposed to come till Monday, but that's always like so fun when packages come early. So I'm gonna try all these on for you and see. Like these were the pants that I saw on TikTok so I'm excited to try them on. This was one of the pieces that I got from Paxon. I'm already wearing it, so I thought that I would just show you now. It's just a crew neck that just says New York on it. It's like an off-white, light yellowish color. I'm like obsessed with the color. I feel like it's so like summery and springy. And then I just have on like Skims little shorts underneath. That's like my lounging outfit right now. But I love this crew neck. It's so soft on the inside. It's like the Brandy Melville brand, like John Galt or something. So I will link everything that I show you, but I love oversized crew necks like this, especially for summer and spring. So love that. Next from PacSun, I got this blue striped little button up top. I'm obsessed with tops like these. I just can't get enough of them. I actually ordered another one from Jerf Avenue. I'm pretty sure is how you say it, but I haven't even gotten that in the mail yet because the shipping got like all messed up when I changed my address when I moved here. So I'm pretty sure it's like lost in the mail. So I'm gonna have to like call customer service or something, but I love tops like this, like so, so summery and springy. I just cuffed the sleeves. I thought that looked cute, but I love this so much. Like I'm obsessed, very comfy. It's like a little bit oversized. 
as well, which I love. It's like one of my favorite pieces that I got in. Next are these pants. I'm obsessed with these. These are so, so cute. They're like nylon cargo slash parachute pant type of deal. And you can like tighten them at the bottom, tighten the waist. I actually wore these yesterday and just posted an Instagram picture in them. I love them so much. Like even this is cute together in some sort of way with like sandals. You can adjust the waist too with these little stringy things, which is nice because these types of pants are like always humongous on me and look so weird and silly, but I actually love the fit of these. Like they fit perfectly and just like the detailing of the cargo look. I love it. Then I just got these joggers, which I was talking about how I was getting rid of all of my joggers, but I really like these because they're like baggy and oversized and they're not like an awkward length. And I love the color of these. They're like a taupe color and yeah. So just a nice pair of joggers to have. Now on to Zara. This tank is from Zara. These were the pants that I was talking about. First off, I love this tank top. I would wear a different bra with it, obviously, because this looks kind of funky, but I just love the cutout of it. And it's like kind of distressed on the seams, but I love the color. I also love the length of it. You can like scrunch it up. And I don't know, I think it looks really cute. It's very flattering. And then these were the pants that I was like going crazy over. I sized down a size because on the website it says that they run big, but they're like linen material. And I don't know, I'm just like so in love with these. I think they're so cute. They're definitely longer on me because I'm quite short. So all pants like this like go under my feet, but I'm sure I can just like wear sneakers with them or maybe just get them tailored honestly because I love these pants like this outfit is honestly really cute together i think the tones go really well like earthy tones lastly from zara i got another pair of pants these are so cute although i could have gotten a smaller size but maybe i can cuff them maybe that would look cute i don't know but another pair of like parachute pants cargo pants so cute i love the detailing and I don't know, I just like love pants like these. I'm like so into it. I just think they're like so fun to wear for spring and summer when it's like so hot out because they're so baggy and light and airy and you like don't sweat in them. So I love these. Like I just love that detailing, but these do run big because I got my regular size. I mean, they're very cute to wear like low rise like this, but I definitely like my pants a little bit more <laughs> snug on me. So. That's my haul, so cute. I'm like so in love with all of these pieces. So I will link everything below. But it's so funny because I never really shop at Zara. And ever since I went on the website to go find those green pants, I was like, wait, they have so many cute things. So I'll have to shop there more. I'm obsessed with everything I got. So happy everything fits. I'm just drinking this juice right now also from suja they sent me like a bunch of juices a couple weeks ago i think i showed it in a vlog but this one is apple mango banana cucumber and lemon and it's honestly surprisingly good like it tastes like a smoothie it feels so good to have like a fresh juice it's like so hot outside i didn't think that it was going to taste that good this like combination of fruits and veggies but it's actually really good and i'm so excited because there's a smoothie place opening i'm pretty sure it's this month because I looked it up and I'm pretty sure it said like May 22nd, but I'm like so excited for it to open and just get like fresh smoothies all the time. And also there's gonna be like a Club Pilates, I think going right next door, which I haven't tried yet. I really wanna try Club Pilates because there's not like a lot of Pilates studios like in the surrounding Boston areas. There's only really good studios like literally in Boston, which I mean, I could always drive into the city, but just like parking, paying to park is just like not, fun and like kind of a waste so i've always wanted to try club pilates and there's going to be one opening right next to the smoothie place there's also a club pilates in the next town over from me as well so i could just go to that one too but that's just like so nice it sounds so nice going to pilates and then going next door to get a smoothie so hopefully in upcoming vlogs i'm going to club pilates i still haven't tried like going to a pilates workout class i really want to though but anyways, I'm gonna drink my juice 
and catch up on some work, put all of these clothes away. I'm sweating. I just got to my car. I'm actually going to my Nana's right now because I usually go to her house for dinner sometimes. She loves to make me like spaghetti with butter because it's like one of my favorite meals to have is literally just plain spaghetti with butter. So I am going to her house now. It's only 3 30 though so i'm going over kind of early i guess it's like a late lunch type of situation i actually just had lunch not too long ago so i'm not that hungry but i don't want to tell her that because she'll be like sad so i am just going to go over her house for a little bit and then i also have this book to give her that i showed in my last vlog i think and I got these books at Target. I got one for my mom too. It's called Your Grandmother's Story. And it just has like a bunch of journalish type of prompts. And basically she just writes in the entire thing and then gives it back to me. So it's kind of like a gift for myself. I was also talking about this in my podcast because I came out with a Mother's Day gift guide on my podcast episode, which that finally got sorted out in my last vlog. I was like saying how it didn't upload and I had like a bunch of problems with it but if you want some Mother's Day gift guides although by the time this video goes up it's gonna be Mother's Day so I don't know if you're having a late Mother's Day and you're gonna see her after if you want I made a Mother's Day gift guide on my podcast so if you need some cute gift ideas um, definitely listen to that but yeah so I'm going to my Nana's now and just gonna hang out with her for a little bit. I just love spending time with my family like as much as I can. I just love going to my Nana's house or like when we have like family game night. It's just like I will always cherish these moments and I always like to spend time with my Nana like as much as I can. You know like growing up not everyone will be here and I hate thinking about it like I just hate thinking about like people passing away and everything and I don't even like talking about it like just talking about it out loud I don't like it I love my family so much and I'm so thankful for my family so this is your reminder to just tell someone that you love them and your loved ones that you love them because you literally never know what can happen in this world and I don't like thinking like that but it's like you kind of have to think like that at times because you don't want to take anything for granted so with that being said, I'm gonna go head to my Nana's, spend some time with her, and then I kinda need a couple of groceries. So maybe I'll go to the store afterwards or something. I've been putting on this hand screen, by the way, just cause it's been so hot. I like to keep my hands protected and you never really think to put sunscreen on your hands, but I have this one from Super Goop. It's SPF 40, so I just put it on like the back of my hands. I'm pretty sure I got the idea from like Khloe Kardashian like so long ago to put sunscreen on your hands. So I will link this down below. I got it at Sephora. Gotta protect the hands. Just got back inside. I actually did end up going to Target for a few groceries for the weekend. So I got some waffles. These have been like my obsession recently, these Kodiak protein waffles. So I got blueberry and chocolate chip because they were on sale if you got two. So I got those. I got some mangoes. I love mangoes in like the spring and summertime. Bananas berries, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. I got two avocados. These are like so mini. They were so cute. I got some of this Purely Elizabeth Granola. I used to get this all the time, like a couple years ago, and it's so good. It's like the best granola. I used to get the Trader Joe's almond butter one for like the longest time, but I think I'm gonna switch back over to this one. It's just so good. So I got the chocolate sea salt. That's my favorite flavor. They do have a few other ones, but that one is like, the best. I got a bag of spinach because I really want to make the Starbucks egg bites since I buy them all the time. 
I'm like, I might as well just make them at home and also spinach is just always good to have in the fridge. So I was planning on making those. So I also got feta cheese to put in them too. I'm not gonna do like exactly how Starbucks does it, but I wanted to get spinach for those. Perfect bars, my favorite protein bars. Two things of Chobani oat milk. I've been going through this like crazy with my matcha smoothies. So I got two of those. And then lastly, I just got two strawberry vanilla Olipops. They only had two left, so I figured I would grab them. So just some groceries to have for this weekend, breakfast, little random things. got another package in the mail from daily drills they have like a lot of loungewear swimwear so i'm excited to see what's in this i didn't order it myself they sent it to me cute little note why does cheeto always have to go in a splitter box when i'm talking super cute little cardigan it's like so lightweight i'm assuming you could wear this over like your bathing suit or something i love these colors for spring and summer and then it came with the matching pants. These are so cool. They're like so funky. I love them. It's a bit later now, obviously. I'm in my PJs. I just put on a little face mask. I used this one from Kiehl's. It's called Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I love this because I feel like it just cleans out my pores. And when I was washing my face, I just like noticed all of these little breakouts and like I have a breakout right here and like on my chin here like an ingrown one and you can't really like tell on camera but just like little pimples on my forehead and I was saying in my last vlog that I had a lot of ice cream like last week and I feel like all the dairy and all the sugar is like catching up to me now and really bothering my skin and also I haven't been drinking enough water and I just feel like that's affecting my skin as well too. So I'm just gonna chill in bed, watch some YouTube or Netflix. I have my favorite candle burning on a date from Replica. It smells so good. So just gonna chill for the rest of the night and I will see you in the morning. Saturday. It's 8.20 in the morning. I put on some eye patches this morning, had some waffles that I got yesterday at Target, and I'm actually going to go for a little walk right now. I just like want to be in the sun and I'm trying to just like go for walks more and just be in the sun, get some fresh air, and it's going to be another hot day today. I have all the blinds shut and I just like don't like how dark it is in here like obviously on the camera it doesn't look that dark but like compared to having the shades open it's pretty dark in here and so i just like to have a lot of sunlight in the morning and just like feel fresh and get my day started if that makes sense it just improves my mental health so much and you wouldn't think that it does just because it's like something so like minuscule but i feel like the smallest things are what leave the biggest effect on my mental health that's what we're gonna do this morning just getting my shoes on i'm wearing my 
Reebok nano sneakers that I got at that Reebok event. I'm obsessed with these sneakers. They're so comfy. I also want to record my podcast episode this morning. And so I feel like just being in the sun will like inspire me. I just have on an Aritzia hoodie and then some Adidas shorts. I never even put the clothes yesterday away that I said I was gonna do. I just totally forgot I got distracted on my phone. But I am gonna take these eye patches off before I go for my walk. Also have to blow out these candles. <sighs> Can't forget that. Don't want a fire in this apartment. <sighs> I also have this air purifier going this morning. I did a partnership with this brand Hometics and it's like a pet purifier and it just like cleans your air. I've been having the windows open, all like the pollen and like just gross air particles are like getting all over the windowsill and at my last apartment i used to have the window open like all the time and i just remember cleaning so much pollen off i feel like allergies and just like my throat i feel like that's what's bugging my throat as well because i like keep mentioning in the vlogs that like my throat i don't know what's wrong with it but it's like always i like always have to clear my throat so i've just been having this going and it's like actually gross what comes out like when you clean the filter so if you don't have an air purifier and you have allergies or you just want like crisp clean air definitely try and get one of these i will link it down below and you can set it on like three different settings it has a timer so i feel like it's really good especially if you have pets and their hair gets like everywhere because cheeto's hair is like embedded in everything so i will link that down below back from my walk i ended up walking to starbucks and getting myself a little chai i don't know i just like felt it in the moment i just really wanted a chai and i'm trying not to go to starbucks as much but i don't know i just felt like going this morning on my nice little walk, but I'm gonna go in the shower, get ready, do my skincare, and then record my podcast. So I just got to my car. It's almost 12, it's 11.45. I just had a perfect bar in my mouth. I need like water, oh my gosh. I don't have any water in my car. I should have brought my water bottle with me, but I'm going to my mom's right now because we're gonna go and see my little brother, Corey. If you're new to my channel, my little brother has special needs and so he lives at a residential house with his school. So we usually visit him like every single week, multiple times a week. So I'm gonna go with her right now to go and see him. But I did my podcast, everything is all set, got ready for the day. I'm literally just wearing like a random t-shirt and shorts, threw my hair up in a clip just cause it's like hot out. I don't feel like wearing. I have to film the rest of this clip on my phone because my camera just died. But like I was saying, I just like didn't feel like wearing a cute outfit for today. So just wearing a random t-shirt and shorts. But going to my mom's now, my podcast is all filmed. Everything is all set to go. So I'm probably just gonna end off this vlog here since I'm not doing anything else really. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would make me so, so happy. Like you have no idea. Each and every one of you who subscribe, I love you so much. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next vlog.